How do we approach the future of AI as software engineers? And um, what is the evolution? Uh, today we're going to talk to Renata Jovanovic, who specializes in deep tech and how to work with generative AI. She's going to tell us um, what to do to be well prepared and how to use AI now. Um, hello everyone. Uh, today uh, we have Dr. Renata Jovanovic on board, uh, who is the deep tech advisor, a mentor and an angel investor. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, Renata, is, uh, um, Renata has been uh, working with AI and talking about AI and different elements of how what to expect uh, from it um, and how, how can people best find themselves in this world for quite a while now and on many different stages. Um, what, is your, what is your relationship with AI? How do you, um, uh, how do you use it and mm -hmm. is it your friend? I, I would say AI is my friend and also my teammate and also my advisor <laughs> in some cases. Um, so I would say I fully embrace the AI um, and it's very simple for me. Um, each time in history when people were refusing to use technology like electricity, they were afraid to be electrocuted or whatever. Uh, we brought them cars, they wanted horses. and. Um, just maybe eight years ago in Berlin, there was a demonstration against uh, Uber. Mm -hmm. uh, it was all useless because now we have Uber, and we have electricity, and we have cars. So when the new technology comes in town, you only have um, two options. Uh, either you are, I always say, you are driving this steam roller or you're part of steam roller, or you are basically part of the road and somebody is team rolling you. Mm -hmm. So no matter if you're individual, you should look um, how to reskill, upskill and figure out how to use it for your daily work and also at home. If you're a company, you also have to uh, figure out how to make AI as a, as a teammate, useful mm -hmm. teammate, or rather than just use it. Because there are advantages if you're, let's say, um, uh, mindset is toward this, this technology is uh, is positive as opposed to oh it's just a new tool that we need to get over it. How do you did you have to adapt in any way uh, to AI? Well, I was using AI for lo a long time in, well, in a traditional uh, mm -hmm. sense. I think we had uh, some first models uh, early two thousands or something. Um, but I did uh, adapt as well. So recently I took uh, MIT courses, uh, even though I advise clients on uh, generative AI, I wanted to see what's out there because I usually advise people on um, how to accelerate materials discovery using AI, Gen AI and quantum computing. But I wanted to see what artists and musicians <laughs> and other people are using in, or how they are interacting with AI. Um, to maybe learn something out of that. And it was a very interesting experience because, of course, I'm em embedded in this, you know, how we get new drugs and batteries and who knows what with the, with the AI Gen AI. But I didn't even know that is so amazing to have, uh, I don't know, AI as your uh, bandmate <laughs> if you're making a music. So um, I try to keep up with time <laughs> as well. Um, a lot of people are upskilling right now because of mm -hmm. AI. Um, mm -hmm. Do you see any people upskilling in the wrong things? Um, I would say you should focus on what you know the best mm -hmm. and then focus on what you hate about <laughs> your work ah, <laughs> or something okay. that really kind of annoys you and you have to do it over and over again. That would be the best thing to start uh, using uh, AI as your, or, or having AI as your teammate. And uh, most of the time you don't even need to be too much upskilled, <laughs> let's mm -hmm. put it that way, if you are in, in, in tech field. For others, you need to understand the basics and the basic would be upskilling to have a good prompt because the mm -hmm. difference, now everybody has uh, Gen AI mm -hmm. <laughs> in their home and office. Um, the differentiator is how you use it, how you figure out what kind of prompt is good, what kind of prompt is not good, um, how you interact with uh, 
with uh, uh, Gen AI. And how do you how do you see if the prompt is good or not good? Do you, can you immediately say even before the response gets generated if um, mm, the prompt is not good I, enough? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I was also <laughs> kind of upskilling myself in this uh, this thing, but uh, if you are. Um, um, if you're understanding AI as a tool, you probably would ask, give me this or give me that, uh, simplify or do something. But if, you, if AI is your teammate, you will ask, hmm, I'm a consultant and I have a podcast uh, <laughs> with Magda <laughs> at 42 Berlin. Can you suggest some topics uh, that uh, are of interest? So, of course, there are a lot of elements there. So uh, the AI is in my shoes. Uh, uh, investigation will be done about Berlin 42, about yourself and myself, and, and you know, we'll, I will get much better response what are the topics that we can discuss, rather than just saying, oh, give me some ideas, what can I say in the podcast? Yeah. So I need to, um, I would say, um, you need to personal, per, yeah, personalize yeah. The, the interaction. Um, as software engineers uh, who are studying with us uh, are uh, trying to figure out what is their place in this um, in this mm -hmm. roller coaster, um, what would you say makes most sense for them to do? Where should they go? What should they learn? How 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 to get into this um, AI world? I would say they are at excellent spot to contribute this to this uh, enormous uh, transformation that uh, companies and industries and the whole society is undergoing. Um, so, depends on their preferences. If if they like natural sciences, I would <laughs> love to see them in you know in new material discovery. But if they like um, or, or their preferences, I don't know, banking, they can make a difference there as well. So there are a lot of spots where um, they can contribute. Because um, just to illustrate, in in terms of um, material discovery. I always ask, what's the next best researcher? Is it a human? Is it uh, augmented human? Or is it maybe a humanoid uh, robot with, uh, I, I don't know, alpha fold 2 in brain instead of, you know, buyers? Mm -hmm. um, and my conclusion is it, it, it's a hybrid of all these different kind of, a, mm -hmm. yeah, entities, <laughs> let's put it that way, um, because you will need always this creativity and uniqueness and curiosity of people, but you will also need part that is uh, very embedded in kind of a software development and algorithm development. So you need to, and you also need somebody who is a translator mm -hmm. uh, in between. So somebody who knows business, but also who knows uh, Gen AI to say, to translate the business requirements into uh, AI software requirements. Mm -hmm. And, um, those are quite interesting roles. Mm -hmm. And I also think uh, if, if you're just starting your studies in software engineering, of course, uh, AI, ML, uh, LLMs uh, are now in everybody's mind. However, I think uh, your next step should be quantum machine learning mm. because that's the next technology that is knocking on our doors mm -hmm. and it's going to be quite more deeper and I, I would believe also more exciting than, <laughs> than AI. It's going to be very specific um, and it will be a little bit different from AI because you will not be able to uh, reskill and upskill that easily. Why? Uh, because it's a new way of thinking, a new way of coding the problems in, um, let's say, quantum uh, computer. Although many companies are working on interfaces that will not require quantum knowledge, um, I think we will definitely require a little bit more <laughs> efforts in um, upskilling and reskilling in this in this case. So if you have opportunity to study mm -hmm. quantum machine learning, I think that would be uh, a very good investment for the future. Then you would be ba then you would be more ahead than uh, yes. just tackling. Yes, the your future. future I would say your future is um, exciting, mm -hmm. <laughs> if nothing else, <laughs> and open. Um, would you? Um, what What is your next adventure? What are, What is the next thing that you would like to learn or more? Uh, you know more about? Definitely. So uh, I'm learning every day about also AI, Gen AI, and quantum computing. But recently, I was um, looking some documentaries on how can we use uh, bio computers. Mm. Mm. I've, I've seen uh, or the, there are startups out there who are. 
uh, growing human brain cells in a petri dish and uh, trying to give them assignments like uh, uh, playing ping pong that we had like in the 80s this this wall <laughs> game and it, it it works and maybe that's just a stage of the development right now but uh, in 10 years <laughs> it's gonna be quite exciting mm -hmm. and also i think um, how to combine all these so all these technologies the future is not uh, uh this technology or that technology uh, the future is hybrid it's mm -hmm. every technology has its place in this hybrid because you will never use quantum computing to to calculate two by <laughs> two bus uh, two plus two um you will always have traditional computers for for that so every piece of the puzzle, high performance computing, AI, Gen AI, uh, mm -hmm. quantum computing, and maybe biocomputers um, have Science. their role in the future. I, I feel like basically what we what we all know now is that tech will accompany everything we do. So it makes sense to specialize in one area, um, be it biote biotechnology or uh, medicine, um, mm -hmm. mathematics, and mm -hmm. then um, and then put it together with AI, right? So also as a software engineer, this um, mixed profile of um, mm -hmm. having expertise somewhere is incredibly useful. Right? Yes, yes. I always think, uh, so when I speak about uh, talents, uh, I speak um, about two profiles. It's a T profile mm -hmm. where you have very broad uh, knowledge of certain, maybe industry, let's put it that way. So you, you have a broad, broad knowledge of industry, and then you have this uh, stem of the T, which is depth uh, mm -hmm. that you have in in that industry. So, for example, <laughs> I have very broad knowledge of process industries, especially chemicals. Mm -hmm. But my depth is uh, using deep tech in R&D and innovation space, material discovery space for these industries. So that's the T profile. Mm -hmm. And if you think a little bit further than, than that, you have a high profile. So you have this depth, but then you have two elements. One is this um, uh, like a sorry the broader part which is the top of the pie mm -hmm. and then you have one uh, depth which is deep tech and so on and the second one are your soft skills leadership um, mm -hmm. curiosity all these kind of things that uh, makes you you as a unique a leader person. teammate uh, what uh, whatever you would <laughs> like to be that, that is your human edge yes yeah. yes that makes you a good good leader or a good teammate mm -hmm. An overall fun person to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> what is what is your um, what is your favorite um, uh, query prompt? What is the prompt that you probably use the most? Oh my god! I don't know. I, I have so <laughs> many prompts. <laughs> the first one that comes to your mind. Um, I usually do what I said. I. I put uh, um, AI teammate in a certain role and then uh, ask mm -hmm. how would you do this or that if you're related to that role. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I have my personalized uh, chat GPT where I imported certain things and saying, okay, this is my background. This is what I'm looking, you know, quantum deep tech <laughs> research and so on. So, sometimes, so when I open that uh, part of chat GPT, I get tailored responses to this profile. So I don't always have to say I'm this and that and I do this and this. Can you help me? It's already there. So I just type the question. Who needs friends? Who <laughs> needs colleagues? Are we um, doing it? <laughs> Renata, thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure talking to you. I can't wait to um I can't I can't wait for uh, for the time when we're talking about quantum machine learning. <laughs> I feel like I have some Googling to do. Awesome. Um, <laughs> Thank you for the invite. I really enjoyed our discussion. So happy to see how the event goes uh, further. <laughs>